Hey guys, today we're gonna take another look at the Bismarck. Um, in my previous video saying the buff really wasn't enough, I did put on a height build, which is basically an accuracy plus secondary build, and gave it another go and I've been trying it out ever since. And I've got quite a surprising result. Um, Bismarcks are kind of a... can be a bit of a threat nowadays because the extra penetration angle means you need to angle a lot more towards a Bismarck than you would any well, other battleship, shall I say. So it can be quite a threat. The penetration angle buff is quite nice. It can be problematic. It's still, the hull is not great. It still eats a lot of damage, but <clears throat> overall the, the the penetration angles is really what sells these guns. Making the Bismarck guns quite viable to be used. So again, if you have hide, uh, price to, consider us definitely consider sticking him on the Bismarck the guns do perform well for those extra penetration angles you get a lot more pens than you would normally because the German penetration angles is usually quite bad and with this it's really really quite good so this game can have to do everything myself but it's not never a good idea to charge in headlong straight in at the start of the game it doesn't matter what ship you have it's just never a good idea you've got to think about it carefully but um as long as you have some cut, some sort of cover and you're thinking about it, you're being cautious, yeah, think about it. So there we go. Um, triple fire there. I need to extinguish that, of course. <clears throat> now, because I'm running a, a height, I don't have all to rebuild. There you go. Well angled against the Iowa, still took 7,000 because of the penetration of it. This mark is not great. But, because of our penetration angles, we get reliable hit on him. See that? One pen, two of the pens. That's pretty good. Happy with that, it's poor damage check it again. Again, double fire from that Yoko and something else, because I'm running Flambo Cannoneer. But uh, because I'm running Flambo Cannoneer, it might help my chance to proc the three fires and uh, get a result. <clears throat> Yoko tastes a nice wee citadel. Uh, New Orleans does not share the same fate, unfortunately, but he does have some good penetration. <clears throat> so that should give him a sizable uh, disencouragement choice. Front guns are definitely used for Yoko. Put on the sonar in advance from Yoko torpedoes, just in case. I'd rather not use them. Okay. Yoko does not like the follow-up guns. These are accurate guns because I'm using actually uh, hide, sorry, and with Canyon hide and with the accuracy buff, you can certainly get some relatively accurate shots, even with Bismarck. Now, as you can see, the hull still takes extreme damage. I am using my heels, I've already used one heel, I'm hoping for some to get some relief, you know, of the front of the flank and not have another battleship tank, but they're not really helpful, really, and that's the biggest problem. You really, if you have a push, any battleship can lead a push, but keeping a sustained push is almost impossible when you're under fight, when you're fighting more than one ship. So the best thing you can do for your team is that you see someone push in, push in with them. It may not necessarily be the best idea, but if it's a really bad idea, of course, don't do it. But if you've got a, someone pushing and there's a potential it could win, then definitely push it. Like this Bismarck here. I, if someone pushed with me, this game would be over. <clears throat> we would tear apart this Iowa, who likes to give an angled broadside. But because of our penetration angles, this is not angled enough for Bismarck. So yeah, you gotta be careful. Um, yeah, if I had some support on this flank, I could have done a lot. Well, I'm not sure I could have done a lot more, but our team could have done a lot better. There we go. Four penetrations on that relatively angled Biz uh, Iowa. If this was a regular Bismarck, I'm almost certain that would have bounced most of the shells. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see that they can see the buff being put into use. I feel this buff is purely for using hide, which is a little bit upsetting. I don't feel you should buff commander. You buff ships based on their event commanders, because again, not everyone has hide. You know, like this sort of build here, you could use on hide, and you could use it on the new Justinian commander, the guy dealing with the, the secondary buff slash thing. I really feel you should buff them on the base commander, because that's what everyone has. That's a level playing field for everybody. <clears throat> so yeah, um. It's, it's quite accurate with the... I'm using Azure Lane Churn Horse as inspiration as well. It's, it's you really, if you build into the guns into Bismarck, you're not actually up there that much, but if you're building into guns, you're usually sacrificing your brawling, healing, and causing some problems there. So I'm, I'm just sitting back right now. That's what I'm doing right in the minute. 
You gotta be careful. It's that um, picky moments. I'm just waiting for my heels to come off cooldown. That's all I'm doing. You gotta be really patient when it comes to these sort of builds. You really wanna use your heels. <clears throat> so my heels being procced. I can push in now. This is the perfect time. Mastodus is pushing in right now and he could potentially do some damage to my battleships. So what I'm gonna do, keep the pressure on and make sure that they do not have time to think clearly and get their job done. So yep, there's Massa. He is angling away from me, but he's showing his butt to me. And you can never show your butt to a ship unless you're angled. Because that stuff could happen. You know, that stuff could happen. I mean, not bad, but four pens and two pens, not bad. Leon, I'm hoping he'd push up a little bit, but <clears throat> he kind of leaves me to die, which is nice. But um, maybe I can, maybe you can help me with this, this Massa. Maybe we can. Massa decides to go for an angle Bismarck over uh, by tanking Leon, which he can overmatch. But uh, there we go. Uh, of course, Bismarck seems to subtract damage. Broadside Iowa, pretty much. I really should sit at it that shot. I hope I do it, guys. Meanwhile, my ineffective secondaries are in a work. As you can see, these penetrations, these secondaries are actually bouncing off pretty much everything. That New Orleans gets lucky a second time. Eating only four penetrations, he should have been Citadel death shot right there. Again, lucky to the end, not a single Citadel. But he's out, and that's that. That's what matters. <clears throat> 16 seconds to my next heal. That is my biggest concern right now. Uh, kind of by tanking the Massa, which I can certainly do. But again, if he just goes from superstructure, he can rip me a new one. <clears throat> I'm going to go for his superstructure though because that's my reliable damage on him. Two penetrations, which is not bad. Uh, I kind of want to get the cap, because I can pretty much do this cap at this point. Really hoping someone helps me out, because I'm only on 20k health. I really need people to push with me, but they're really hesitant to take the lead. Triple fire skill actually pays off for once. The Iowa is shooting HE this whole game, by the way. If he shot AP, my game probably would not be nowhere near as nice. And it kind of goes to show you that how, no matter how much you buff Bismarck's guns, the armor is still a problem. <clears throat> Decent, nice shot in the Iowa. That is definitely the penetration skill coming in, not necessarily the Citadel, because I think that would have been actually a bounce if that was a regular, a regular Bismarck. But because of the penetration angles, we have penetration, which is always good. <clears throat> Massachusetts is shooting at my lower hull, which is really good. If he shot my superstructure, he probably would have done much more damage. Uh, we managed to pull the cap. I really kind of need to hold back a little bit, but I need to keep somewhat of pressure on. So I need to be careful here because I'm really low. I'm not. I'm not very comfortable in health. I was not focused on me, and I'm really paying attention to his guns because if he gets involved in this fight, I could really taste the pay the piper, you know, essentially. So you can be really careful. Um, gonna see what I can to get on this massa. Still keep an eye on Iowa. He's my biggest concern right now. Will I angle against the massa? I don't think I'm. Oh well, there's still a chance that he's he could be doing some significant damage to me. But you gotta be careful. I was showing a bit broadside. So as you saw, Let's see if I can finish off this massa. Maybe. Secondary is a heading him, but they can't even pay in the Bismarck superstructure. They can't even pay in the massa superstructure. It's the one of fives. Guns for the off. Or, Pretty good salvo again. Three penetrations. All these penetration buffs really does help out. <clears throat> these are no additional penetration buffs, this is just the Bismarck with the improved pen angles. It does it does it's quite a scary thought when you look at when you against the when you angle against the Bismarck, you like, oh hold on, I need to keep a little bit more of an angle, because those penetration angles can kick can kick right at. <clears throat> I was being very lucky this game not to eat a citadel. He's been giving me flat broadside this particular moment here. A slight angle, but he's like pretty much flat broadside. Again, just we get the pen, but no citadels. Just a little bit unfortunate. <clears throat> Looks like he's gonna need some torps though. Is he? No, he's gonna dodge those. Getting reliable pens. Uh, Avamarl is showed up. Avamarl, who's not angled, is basically free citadels. Kutuzov is a little bit more dangerous because he could shoot you from anywhere in the map. Armamal's um, got a little bit less range, so he'll be a little, bit, uh, a little bit more dangerous. Well, a little bit less dangerous, actually. This penetration icon is coming right into effect. That's a double citadel. 
He is not happy with that. <clears throat> Can we do a follow up? Can I switch my gunfire here? Uh, we got the back guns for the Kuchas off and the front guns for the Albemarle. Again, retrospect, probably could swap it up, but I don't know. Other Citadel. He's, he's not happy having it. He's not having fun there. Maybe could have killed the Albemarle oh, if I shot at the Albemarle with a back salvo, but uh, well, you know, hindsight is wonderful. It's a single fire. Uh, my only hope is him to pop double fire because I'm running hide. I don't have fight fire fire and no will to rebuild, which means I couldn't reverse it to my teammates. Even if I had will to rebuild, though, it's not going to save me because double fire and their teammates are miles away. Anyway, even though we pushed the enemy to their game uh, to the end of the map, we held back essentially five ships and we managed to pull off a grand total of 200k damage. All right gonna fast forward to the end of the game here there we go and here we are so 200k damage six citadels three kills and 3,000 base XP very interesting game and I'll go over the build right now so we got Henry G Hyde we're using Kanir, Porcupine, Maxmanship, Mass Mechanic, Fire Fire, fire with Hipper as a secondary build and Sharnhorst so building the best of both with the five heals, the three secondary consumables and the two sonar. So with a little bit of space camel mixed in. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, catch you next time. Bye for now.